this is NeedlePointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to make these wonderful bags, zipper bags, from snack wrappers. So this is from a cookie wrapper and it's a bag that you can open up and put stuff in. It would make a great pencil bag this size. These bags can be used for pretty much everything, makeup, little toys, cook. Uh, cookies I was gonna say no not cookies <laughs> maybe not cookies uh, could be a could be used for snacks though even for kids snacks but they're made out of actual wrappers so this one is from a cookie wrapper sorry it's out of the screen um, this is from a candy wrapper sweet tarts so they can be made out of cookies or candy and this one has the same on the back I didn't show you the back of this one. This one has, this is the back of the wrapper for the cookies. This one's made out of an Oreo packaging and has a zipper. And on the back is the actual back of the packaging. If you have two of the type of wrapper you have, or even two different wrappers, you can use one on the front and one on the back. It's up to you how you do it. And we just need a simple zipper, and these are really simple to make. You, you need to know basic sewing, and that's it. There's, don't be afraid of the zipper. You'll see it's really easy to put in. It's not like everybody is afraid of putting in zippers. This is an easy one. And these bags won't rip or tear easily because we use vinyl fuse to support them and make the wrappers more stable and stiff and that they won't just rip you know because like normal wrappers are going to rip easily but these won't rip up they are perfect for all kinds storing all kinds of stuff so let's get started so what you need for this project is to collect up some fun different types of wrappers you know this, these are Lay's Wavy, Cheetos, anything it has to be more of a either plasticky or non-cardboard. You don't want a cardboard because that's not going to flex the way it should. And um, the cardboard wouldn't work as well. So like these are, you know, pla any kind of plastic. Or this type that's kind of more foil-like. Like like with the shiny stuff on the inside. That works too. This is thin, but like I said, we're going to use vinyl fuse or vinyl fused onto this to stabilize it so and support it. What else do you need for this project? You need your bags of snack wrappers or whatever you're going to use. You need at least one zipper and I have these packs of zippers that I bought online. You can get packs of zippers, lots of them in different colors, varieties. Um, uh, usually they come in one length and then a whole collection of colors. So I have these I have this is another pack. But I found these on Amazon and we will have a link of where you can purchase zippers and the vinyl fuse. So this is the vinyl fuse that we're going to be using. It comes in bolts but it also comes in like small packages so you don't have to buy a whole large amount. Oh I also put this, this, this wipes on the table because once you cut the bag open you'll want to clean off the inside. Okay so I am going to make a bag with this Chips Ahoy Chunky Cookies that Wrapper. I've cut the ends off already just with a scissor to get started and I'm going to use a brown zipper on this bag. So the idea is, is you're going to always need to cut off if you have like a wrapper like this with sides, you're going to need to cut off the sides first. For some of these other wrappers, like this one, you would just need to kind of trim the bottom off at least so that you can um, get it nice and flat. We don't want this bulky bottom on it. For this one, it's like a, has a more bulky bottom. So I realized as I was editing the video that my video camera ran out of space while I was talking about cutting out the different pieces so I can't go back to what and show you exactly how I cut out the one that was in the video but here are some others that I cut out 
This is a very similar one to what I was doing in the video. And you can see I cut the front out to just be the middle of the front of the package. And then the back, for each back, I like to make the back just a little bit larger than the front. So that way, once we put the zipper in, it will go together like this. And the back piece will wrap around just a little bit like that and the zipper will be right here. So in order to get the zipper into the front you just need to cut the front piece a little bit smaller than the back piece. So here's the front and the back for this one. And then for each one you need to cut a piece of the vinyl for each the front and the back. So here is a piece of vinyl that I cut a little bit bigger than the piece. See? So it'll be just a slight bit bigger and then we will adhere it down. And then the back piece again is just a little bit bigger. And this is another one of the bags. One of those pocket, the pouches that I was showing that has a bottom. So for this one I cut out the front like that and the back and I decided to leave the bottom of the pouch on this one and I'll just fold this the seam either one way or the other and it will go together this way and wrap down around sort of like that and I have the two pieces of the vinyl cut out also for that and again they're just a little bit bigger than the pieces that will be sewn together this is the seam. Here's an Oreo wrapper. And it's very similar to the Chips Ahoy wrapper, where I just have the two pieces like that, and it will come around. And the last one I have cut out is this Lay's Wavy container or wrapper. So this one is again it's a little bit smaller in the front than in the back so that this can wrap down around. So those are some ideas for cutting your bags into the different close. parts that you need. So the next step is the vinyl. The iron on vinyl is on the one side and it's a paper on the back. So we have to pull the paper off the back and it's kind of sticky on this side and then place your bag on top, centered, as well as you can. And press it down. And try not to get bumps in it as much as possible. So once you have it on there, then you can flip it over and see it from the front and make sure that you don't have bubbles in there like I have this bubble in there so I'm going to peel it back a little bit so I can try to smooth that out more because those bubbles will stay if you don't get them out now they won't melt out or anything when you iron it you can take the piece of vinyl that you took off and align it on top with the you want to put the waxy or waxier side down where it's like the kind of like sticky sticky shiny side that's the side that you peeled up that was facing towards the vinyl before and lay it on top to protect your arm so the instructions say hold it for eight seconds in every spot to adhere it down so I slowly will move this around So once you have this side done, then you can take up the piece and it kind of stuck to my ironing board a little bit there. So 
vinyl does come off a yarning board <laughs> pretty well. There you go. So next, you do the same thing on the other side from the back. Again, put the shiny side or the side that you peeled up down. And then iron it from this side. So there, that's what it looks like. Now it's nice. This vinyl won't rip and your bag won't rip when it's done and it's ready to go. Be soon. I'll do the other side and then I'll be back. So here are the two pieces with the vinyl fused onto it. And next we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew on our zipper. So thread your machine with matching thread to whatever color you're going to want around the edge, around the edge of your bag when you finish. Like, because we'll be zigzagging over top the edges. So the the both the top and the bottom thread are going to show on your bag. So I've threaded my machine with a brown thread, which matches. The other thing you will need is a zipper foot. So switch out your machine to the zipper foot if you don't have it already on. And for my machine, I have to move my needle to the either the left or the right side. Next, I'm going to sew the zipper onto the top of the bag, the edge, and I want to put the zipper facing downwards towards the bag. So right sides together, the right side of the zipper to the right side of the bag. So the zipper pull and everything is facing downwards when you do this. I will line the zipper up with the edge of the zipper, with the edge of the bag, not the edge of the vinyl. There's extra vinyl here and we'll cut that off later. So line the zipper up. Now remember any pinholes you put in will show on, on the bag because with the vinyl the pins, the holes will stay. It's not like fabric where they'll close up. So when I'm pinning the zipper on, I'm just going to pin it in a few places and I'm going to pin it this way across wise. So that I can pull the pins out as I go along. And then the pin holes will be in the seam and so they won't be seen on the outside of the bag later. So your next step is to sew along the edge of the zipper. And your zipper foot makes this easy. You start on the edge. You start, you line your foot next to the edge and of the zipper. Sew. So I can just sew normal. Don't forget to back tack. And pull the pins out as you go along. So there, half your zipper is already in, and it's that easy, right? So next, we're going to do the same on the other side. So first, I gotta kind of pull, crease the zipper out of the way, and then take your other side of the bag, and you want to make sure you put it on there in the right orientation. We don't want it upside down so that when you're going to put it on there because I want this to wrap around like that, right? So I will take this and put it on top. So now I'm going to turn it around because this is the way I want it and pin this zipper down again. Line up my edges, and there we go. And look, zipper is in. Yay! Next step, we'll go over and we're going to trim the sides. Okay, so here's your bag with the zipper in it, and I want to just trim the extra vinyl off the inside of the zipper there. Be sure you don't cut your zipper 
edge because that will make the zipper fray. Finger press open your zipper. You can also use the iron to press it, but be sure still, anytime you're ironing, put the that paper over top so you're not ironing directly on the vinyl or on your bag because the bag could even melt by itself. So next I want to trim off the extra along the edge and straighten up the edge if it's necessary, if it's not straight. You know, when you sewed it together, you could have gotten it a little bit off, so we can just trim that off now. Make sure you're not going to hit your the edge of the zipper there, I mean the stopper on the zipper with your cutter. And trim that off. And I'm going to trim along the bottom too, the bottoms. And now on this side, the zipper is coming all the way over. And I want to make sure I move the zipper out of the way before I cut on this side. Okay, so now we have the nice, your bag nicely trimmed up and ready to finish. To finish the bag, we're going to basically fold it so that the bottom is together. The bottom's lined up along here, and the, and the sides are lined up. For the final step, we will zigzag along the three sides here, and the bag will be finished. When you're zigzagging over the zipper, you want it to be aligned up pretty nice there and flat. And then it will zig you'll zigzag just over the top and catch that zipper in. And then that will give an ending to your zipper when you close it. So let's go back over to the sewing machine and finish this up. So I'm back at my sewing machine. Now for the zigzag stitch, I need, I can't use my zipper foot. I need my regular number one foot or your normal foot that you would use to sew that has a big opening. And then I'm going to set my machine to the zigzag. For the zigzag stitch, you want your zigzag to be kind of close together so that it will hold the bag together nicely and not come apart. And you're going to have the needle, when it goes on the left side, it's going to catch inside the edge of your bag here. And when it goes on the right side, it's going to go off the edge. So you want it to kind of go on and off, on and off. And don't forget to back stitch at the beginning and the end. When you get to the corner, you want your needle down and then lift and pivot and continue your sewing. Okay, I'm coming up to where the zipper ends are. This is the end where the zipper is going to come over. And I want to make sure that this is nicely, this won't come open. So I will zigzag over it. And then I'll go backwards and zigzag back across again. Just puts a little bit, just puts a little bit extra in there. A little bit extra strength. And don't forget to back tack at the end. So there's your finished bag. Opens, closes, and it's a nice bag that can be used to carry whatever you want to carry. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these snack wrappers into a fun bag using some vinyl and a little bit of sewing. If you'd like to see more pictures or a written tutorial on how to do this project, please click the iCard and visit our website needlepointers.com to find the full instructions. 
You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by following us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Visit our website by clicking the iCard to find the links to follow us. If you're on Pinterest, pin our projects to save them. This is a great way to keep track of your favorite projects. Visit our website, neopointers.com, for lots of other sewing projects and tutorials. <music>